Hello, hi there, gorgeous Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bella, and how I how I work is I work with the help of my spirit guides. This is your love horoscope for February 2018. Very excited to go give you guys a reading today. Um, all the links to my services are just down below. So if you'd like to know more about me, have a personal reading, perhaps join me on my Facebook page, then all the links are just there. And all my readings start from as little as 4.99 or so as well. So I hope to see you there. But, 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 you know, firstly, how has it been, Sagittarius, having a full month, a full, full month without having Saturn in your sign? The first time in two and a half years, not having it overbearing, overseeing. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel a bit sort of like, oh, this is better? Because it is better, my goodness me. And the reason why you need to get excited because that keeps continuing and it starts to flow. Everything that you've learned for the last two and a half years, particularly, but, but in particular last year, when it came to love, everything, the trials, the tribulations, the highs, and, the, and some of you know the very, very lows, you should be starting to see the positives from those aspects. You know, sometimes we go through challenges and it's only afterwards we can see why we had to go through it. It's a bit like childbirth. It's painful when you're thinking, oh my God, why Why is this hurting? But at the end, you then get this baby and you're like, oh, now I understand why, because there's something joyous at the end of it. It's the same with what with Saturn being in your sign, particularly last year, and it now not being in your sign. You'll be like, wow, I have a baby. <laughs> it's, just, it's different. Do you understand? So, in this month, when it comes to your love life, this is what my guides have to say to you in terms of the energies that you need to be considering. Um, and there is, it is important because I think at the end of the month, you will be challenged about whether you've learned something from this reading or learned something from this month, but very much if, whether you've learned something about how you respond to people, how you interact with people when it comes to romantic nature and what doesn't work and fire things up versus what doesn't. And I think in particular, if you are a Sagittarius and you're with any kind of air sign in particular, this is a very important message for you because, you know, remember, air can flame up a fire, it can, it can rage it up, okay? So an air sign with you knows how to press your buttons in particular in comparison to most signs, all right? Because at the end of this month, your learning from Saturn is going to be tested when it comes to love doesn't matter whether you're single, doesn't matter if you're in a relationship, doesn't matter what type of connection you are in romantically or otherwise, you will be challenged. And this is kind of how it's coming across, basically, is like this. It's, it's saying here, basically, that things are better. So you're dating better. You've got a new, you know, you are in a new relationship or you will do. That's all better. But they're mainly sort of focusing on those where particularly those who had a challenging time with somebody, perhaps it was going to end, perhaps you walked away from somebody, you're in something new anyway, but things are going better. And you don't need to worry so much about whether there's going to be deception, perhaps, as there would have been in a relationship beforehand. Things are very, very much different. Um, you can focus a lot more on you instead of worrying about the relationship aspect because I get for some of you last year it was very much a focus on the relationship because that person was just not good and so it was taking a lot of your attention in fact they were like a child a little bit or they were just not good and so all your attention was going there instead of it going on you and your work and career in this month there's a lot of opportunity for you to kind of relax into it you feel very certain about your relationship the friction is not quite there as it was things are going quite well so that means you can focus on you, personal development, focus on your own light, focus on career, what, you, what it is you can do. The energy is there in February to support that. So that's great. You can work hard at your relationship. They're working hard on you. All really good. First couple of weeks, no problems, guys. Then, <laughs> sorry, guys, the third week. And trust me, it's a test. It's not because some of you may panic and think, I thought this year was going to be a good year. What's going on? It's just a test. I don't know how to explain this. It's a bit like, you know, I don't know. It's you had your mock exam. This is the final test. <laughs> just to, just to make sure that you did learn something. And it's more about how you react because they want you to take the higher ground. They want you to change your reactions to situations that would enrage or inflame you or make you feel neg negative. So again, particularly if you're dealing with an air sign. So they're saying here, you're going to be put some. <laughs> Something, I don't know how to explain this because because I think it's so, I'm trying to explain this so that it's in a broad way because it's going to come out in many different ways because 
there's thousands of Sagittarius's basically but the best way that I can describe this is that you're going to suddenly feel like you don't that, that you'll feel trapped or that you feel like you can't see something or that you suddenly have been given loads of choices that are not favorable so I don't know an example could be that the person that you're dating suddenly says to you actually I, I know I'm dating you but I'm not ready to commit just quite right now uh, and, I, and I'm dating other people but um, I'll be ready I don't know next month or something to kind of make a decision because I just want to be single now because you know whatever you might then be like well hold, well hold on a minute I thought it was just me and you and sort of be really kind of like blindsided and then feeling like do I stick in this do I not stick in this or I guess another example might be that suddenly your relationship that was very, very testing last year, it's been fine now since December, it's been going quite well, and then suddenly they say something to you, and this is where the air sign comes in, suddenly that air sign says to you something that reminds you about, like there's a trigger for inflaming something. So it could be as simple as you're arguing over where to move furniture. And then that person tries to, I don't know, psychologically bamboozle you with something and you're just like, oh, they're still being a petulant child. Um, what do I do about it? <laughs> because they're starting to use language that used to trigger me before. This is where Saturn is testing you because what you could happen, particularly if you're dealing with an air sign, is that you could allow yourself to panic you can allow yourself to get into a place where you're just like, I said I didn't want this anymore, I'm not going to do it. You could over inflame the situation or you could react. And actually what you need to understand is that particularly if it's with the same person, that you need to learn that actually your reactions to that person needs to change in order for the situation to change. So it could be that that person is trying to deliberately get a rise out of you because they know how to passively or otherwise manipulate you and the situation. They know the trigger points, particularly if they're an air sign. Do you get me? So... Let me give an example. Let's say you're dealing with somebody who maybe slightly sometimes or used to or did have or would have had narcissistic traits. Your reaction to them shouldn't be to give them their narcissistic supply by crying or getting really enraged over what it is they're trying to do to kind of upset you because they're probably doing it on purpose because it's their default tactic. The universe and what Saturn is saying to you in this final test is what did you learn? That every time you reacted, it got worse. So in this situation, you need to do the counterintuitive. So for, in this example, you might say, they may say something to you that you know is a downright lie. And they're saying it really obviously because they're trying to get you to go, that's not the truth, blah, 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 cry, 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 or whatever. <laughs> and then they're getting that supply. They'll just keep feeding off that until you just burn out. Next time, when they instead of saying that's not right, just say, that's a possibility. Because you're not agreeing with them, but you're also denying it. And then he, that person, he or she, cannot go anywhere with that either because you've not denied it and you've not confirmed it. And even if they come back with something else, you go, that's a possibility. Change the way, or just don't react, be indifferent. Change the way you respond to that person that's trying to inflame you, basically, in that situation. Because Saturn is testing you. Now, it's coming across that this test is coming out in the romantic sense, but I just have to caveat that as it also, for Sagittarius, could not be somebody in love doing this to you, but it is coming out in this reading that there will be some of you. It may be that other people, it could be your mother that tries to inflame you, it could be your work colleague, your boss. Saturn is testing you on how it is that you used to react, that used to actually not be helpful to the situation versus how you should be reacting now that minimizes it. So you're being tested on your learning. <laughs> particularly if you're dealing with an air sign guys I mean it could be any but that's what's coming out is the most important you there's a real theme about you understanding the tactics of others romantically that might be quite passive in their approach or manipulative in their approach like coming from behind you need to be smarter about it because if you can do that you'll handle anybody like that including you know your solid good relationship because all relationships, particularly the long term, each party at some point could be like that for many different reasons. It could be insecurity on that side. It could be that they're just habitual in what they're doing. There's something that you can do to change that because relationships require work. Sometimes it could be you that's doing more work. Sometimes it could be them that's doing more work. But work needs to be put in. 
in fact, in this regards, and I've been noticing that this is a theme with most people this month, is actually the less is more. <laughs> Doing nothing or less is more. And this is your one. Your test as a Sagittarius is to not flame up. <laughs> to not roar, <laughs> even though you may want to. But I think you'll be super proud of yourself of basically you keep that equilibrium, that calmness, that happiness because you didn't go, ah. So something that could lead into a week or two's discord turns into two hours discord because you deflected it. And then you will use that tactic for the rest of the next two and a half years. That person, other people, whether you're meeting people, any love relationship you have for the next two and a half years, if you've passed that test, that is the way you would always, it will always just be calm because you won't allow that person to wind you up like a toy. <laughs> Do you get me? And if you don't learn, then you'll get tested and tested again until you do. So um, that's not a real fun place to be. But I think most of you will pass it because, oh boy, you'd rather leave that person <laughs> than continue. Do you see what I mean? So less is more this, this month, guys. So that's pretty much the, the thing, the thing, the challenge, the thing that you need to be considering this month. But overall, it, it's a test. So once the test is over, you go back to that calm, positive, taking steps. Your only job is to know that you're partly responsible for how you let that affect you. Don't let it affect you by not reacting perhaps as inflamed as you would i super hope that's been helpful do like do comment i do love to hear from all of you do subscribe if you want to learn more about what's coming up next month for you in your horoscopes or that you want to have any other guidance from my other videos that i do then please do subscribe anyway i will see you all again next month and thank you very much take care